Hello everybody, Advanced 64 here. Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we beat the third gym battle and even made our way over here, and now we're getting another call. Oh, it's Lola. I don't know who you are, but you tried to catch a tentacool. That's good for you. Okay, bye. And, alright. Moving on with this route right here, and right before we go on, we got some, uh, these people over here. Oh, we just uh, spotted a tough-looking trainer oh, here of all places, okay? Roll camera. Let's get this interview. Uh, these guys are kind of neat. Uh, these guys, obviously, since there's two of them, we gotta go into a double battle. So we, our front two Pokemon are gonna be able, are we gonna be fighting these guys right here. We got a Magnemite and Wismer. All right, um, with Deku and uh, Rex out here in front, we should do all right. Uh, Mudslap should do at least good damage against the Magne uh, Magnemite. Uh, I said Magneton because I've been so stuck up on that dude guy for so long, even now. Even now. Alright, uh, luckily we don't have to deal with him until uh, much later when we're much more prepared for it. Uh, but uh, we're pretty much uh, doing okay here, and Rex is confused, but we don't really have to worry about that whisper. A quick attack and that thing's done. We just gotta have to hope that Rex doesn't hit himself in confusion right here. That uh, Whizmer is down, and we get some experience on our part. And Oh, hey, Rex just leveled up. Uh, Alright, Rex is trying to learn takedown. Um, you know what? I think I might actually learn that, because uh, I believe we might have Rockhead, so we don't even take recoil damage. I could be wrong on that, but let's uh, get rid of Headbutt, eh. uh, just so we can have a just a slightly more damaging move whenever we decide uh, to use that instead of like uh, Rock to uh, Rock Tomb or Metal Claw when the situation calls for it. But yeah, all right. Luckily, we were all set for that battle. We just won all right. Uh, and we beat the interviewers. Uh, in my eyes, don't lie, I did discover an astonishing trainer. And when you beat these guys, uh, they don't stop you. Right? Uh, you think they're gonna give you a phone number? They're not. But awesome, awesome, who are you? I knew we were uh, onto something wild when we spotted you. Oh, please let me explain. We are traveling around everywhere and interviewing all sorts of trainers. So would you get, uh, give us a bit of the, uh, your time for an interview? Yes, you will. Thank you. Okay, I need you to describe your feelings about our battle. It has to be short and sweet. Go! Alright, so we only get to choose one word, but it gets to be of anything, so... Um, how about we go for... How about conditions right here? And how about we go a little bit down? What do we got here? Um... Lukewarm! Let's go with lukewarm. <laughs> I don't know why that's there. Hmm, yeah, that's the perfect clinch. Uh, uh, niche? I don't know. I get the feeling that this will be uh, uh, make a great TV show. Uh, and that's a great chance that they'll air for us on TV, so make sure to look for us. Okay, we'll be seeing you. Alright, and that's all set for right now, and maybe we'll have to look for t uh, on a TV a little bit later. And... Just gonna try to do some Mission Impossible right here. A lot of traitors around here, and they're kind of doing a major thing of uh, looking around. But they're easy to avoid, luckily. We got to Route 112 here. There's a really nice Pokemon in here. I don't know if we're gonna encounter it right off the bat, and yes we do, a Nummel. Now, Nummels are really good if you don't have a fire type on your uh, team. I can highly recommend this one. It's a fire and ground type, actually. Um, the only real reason I'm not using a uh, uh, Numble on my team is because I feel like I've used uh, Numble and Camel up a lot. There's a lot. There's other fire types options in Hoenn, not too many, but this is definitely the more prominent one if you're not using a Blaziken. Um, I would definitely recommend it because I mean, anything that also can have Earthquake and a really good damaging move as well. It's just a really good offensive. Uh, uh, Pokemon, but we can try to miss a Mission Impossible this guy, but I think, uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna just end up fighting him anyway. My legs are, so, uh, solid from pounding up and down the mountains. They're not going to buckle down easy, friend. And, alright, let's see what this guy's got for us. There's a little cave over there that he's guarding, too. Hiker Trent, he's got a Geodude. Uh, I don't, I don't know if he's got three Geodudes here. If so, this might be a really easy battle on my, on Deku's part. Let's see if this one-shots, uh, and if, if it doesn't, I might just uh, recover my health regardless, and it does one shot, and yep, Deku's in full health now. Okay, doing really good with that. Uh, um, Absorb is, uh, well, it doesn't do a lot of damage, of course, if you encounter anything like a Geodude right here that's 
four times a week to it, and especially being like eight levels over it at the very least, you're gonna do a lot of damage to it. So, um, if you do um, choose to just use a grow vial only, having absorb on it still might not just be a bad idea because you can always encounter a good trainer that has a water type or a, uh, someone like a geodude and you can if not one shot them do a lot of damage to them get pretty much all your health back uh, and just like that I completely sh uh, swept the floor with this guy I wonder if nope not yet uh, I'm really expecting a really good move on Deku here but I'm not sure if we're gonna be getting that right off the bat oh my legs have crept up can you give me uh, grab me some bandages from my backpack no, that's my Pokenab. Oh, fine. I'll register you. That's not what I was trying to do, but okay. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't grab the bandages for you. But, let's see. There's also another guy right here. I'm actually going to give that to Jam, since Jam's a little behind. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, ha, 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 ha How about we have a battle? You and me. Ha, 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 ha. This guy likes to laugh. Uh, and what do we got here? Another Hiker. It's Hiker Bryce. Uh, and he didn't have a uh, fire type. I was wondering if he was one of those uh, Kindler guys. I think we saw one of those guys in the uh, episode uh, prior to the last one. Uh, we saw, uh, it was like a guy holding like a torch or something. They usually have like Slugmo or like Numbles over here. And I did go for Bullet Seed, but I might try Nature Power this time because uh, notice how the terrain under that uh, Numble is a little different. Uh, I'm gonna go for Ember here and. Alright, luckily we don't take super effective damage from that being water type. And ooh, Rock Slide! That's really nice what that thing turns into. That's gonna do some good damage to this novel. Alright, very good. Rock Slide's really good. It's basically super ro uh, rock throw. It even has a chance to flinch. I forget if rock throw even has that. I believe it does, but it has a better chance of it if rock throw does also flinch. Um. However, this mud shop here probably resists rock slide, so I'm probably gonna go for some bullet seed here. I'm not gonna have many too uh, too many opportunities to use rock slide though. And oh wow, we're, we got lucky with that five times. Really, really good. Okay, and we got karate chop. To, let's see if we can uh, finish this guy off with a rock slide. Uh, at the very least, it should do a good amount of damage, but definitely resisted it. Yep. Um, not too bad at, at all, though, because Jam gets some experience from this. I'll probably leave Jam in front right now. I lost! Ha 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 ha! Even while losing, he laughs. Uh, and what's up with these guys? Uh, hey, man, is our leader really going to awaken that thing? Sounds like it, uh, yeah. But I heard we need a meteorite to do it. Uh, oh, I get it now. That's why the rest of the crew went out uh, to uh, Falverdar. You got it, and until they uh, come back, uh, we're not uh, to let anyone pass, right? Uh, okay. So, can you let me pass? If we do it again. This is the same thing again. <laughs> Just a whole thing again. Alright, well, I gotta go get a meteorite from somewhere. What's this uh, thing tells us? Mount Chimney Cable Car, a shortcut walk this way. So, well, it's not. It's not a short walk that way. What's in here, though? A uh, fiery path. Uh, very nice. Uh, it's got a little smoke clouds in it, too. I guess this place is supposed to be really hot, but luckily, since this is a game, we can't really tell that. More numbles are in here. Um. There's actually quite a good number of Pokemon in this area. Well, like, we can't show off this whole area right now, um, for the main reason for this right there. As you can see, that rock is not a uh, Rock Smash rock. It's a, di a different sort of rock, but this is a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet, a Slugma. Slugmas are kinda neat. Um, can we actually do Rock Slide in here, or is it Earthquake? Uh, oh, it's Shadow Ball instead, because it's Cave. Okay. It's really weird. I don't know how many different types of terrain that does it there is, but uh, okay. Oh, smog is actually super effective, but we might actually get poison from that because smog has a good chance of doing that. But luckily, we did not. Uh, just gonna do a shadow ball again and get rid of the slugma. Slugmas aren't too bad, but they're really, really slow, so that's their main drawback because you know they're slugs. Um, 
with this rock if we go uh, click on it. It's a big boulder, but a Pokemon may be able to push it aside. We can't smash that rock. It's too big because it's a boulder. It's not just a rock, it's a boulder. And okay, we got a poison Pokemon show up. It's just coughing right here. Uh, one of two poison Pokemon that are going to show up. A uh, uh, very good Pokemon, actually. And I probably would catch this guy, but I, I don't want him to fill up our slot right here, because I am looking a little bit around, because there's a lot of Pokemon that can really show up in this area, so let's try to get rid of this coughing. Uh, main thing I can talk about coughing is that coughing is definitely what, uh, probably the best po uh, poison Pokemon you can probably get in the game right now. Uh, seeing on how uh, coughing's main thing is it has an ability called levitate, so it's immune to ground po uh, type moves where it's normally weak to them. Uh, so it's only weak against Psychic Pokemon, so yeah, that's a really good thing for, uh, for it to have, honestly. It's a really good defensive Pokemon overall, and it's probably one of the best status uh, givers in the game for its longevity as well. Um, but there is another Poison Pokemon that does do the uh, defense uh, overall a little better, it just doesn't have the ability to levitate. Just hoping that we can try to find that. Uh, I'm gonna cut back when we do actually find that uh, Pokemon that I'm talking about. Just be. Oh, actually, uh, I was gonna say we were gonna cut back, but this is not a poison Pokemon that uh, we're trying to find. This Pokemon is actually the Pokemon that I wanted to look for. This is a Torkoal. Torkoal is a really cool uh, fire type. It does not evolve at all, but it, it's a kind of neat Pokemon that's kind of uh, not. I wouldn't say it's too strong, but it's a Pokemon I personally fell in love with when I decided to use it uh, one time, just because Ash caught one in the show, and I figured, hey, that was really cool. Might as well try one out for myself, and I did. And personally, uh, I really end up, uh, ended up liking it. I think it's going to live another Shadow Ball, let's go for that. Uh, and, and we ended up missing because of that smoke screen. Uh, but let's uh, try one more time, and wow, a critical hit. Uh, still live that, so that's really cool. Um, let's see, I could go for another Pokeball just because we think we, everybody else has, has, has been caught in a Pokeball so far. I think, but I'm not sure. How about we go for this Premier Ball? Why not? Uh, uh, see, uh, see if this guy wants to have some special treatment with this. I don't th yeah, we don't really have any Pokemon that can give us status right now. The only Pokemon that did was probably Minus, and Minus was only there for kind of just... Uh, to take some hits, and I don't really want Midas to be on our team. Let's try a Great Ball. Uh, should do this alright, and yes we did! We got him! Alright, we got Torkoal! Very, very nice. Uh, and level 16, a very good level for us to get him at. Uh, battles, uh, it's a coal Pokemon. It battles using the energy it gets uh, it's from burning coal. When, lo losing, when loosing smoke from its nostrils, it lets sound that's similar off to a locomotive horn. <laughs> It was so hard for me to read. I don't know why, but basically, uh, whenever it, it's brief smoke out of its nostrils, it sounds like a train, is what it's trying to get at. Uh, but I do already have a name already picked, uh, picked out for this, uh, if only I can spell it right. Uh, say hello to Master Roshi. Not uh, The whole title will fit, uh, but uh, here we have our fifth party member, Roshi. Now, not look, not too looking too shabby. Uh, main best thing that he's definitely standing out with is his defense. I think that's is that higher than uh, Rex's? It's not, but it's actually pretty close to it. Uh, um, doesn't have too many attacky moves, really. Only uh, Ember and Smog, and kind of just a, a couple of buffing moves. And. If we did move on a little bit over there, you can see the exit to this cave. So there's not really too, too much of this area right now. I am gonna run around to try to ca uh, see if I can find that one other Pokemon I was talking about. Uh, I believe there's another Pokemon that also pops up here. If I can see that show up as well, I would definitely like to show that off too. I'm just gonna quickly heal up my guys, but I'm gonna cut back to once we have found that Pokemon. See you guys then. Okay, so we did find one of the Pokemon that we were looking for. This is a Machop that we've found quite a few times throughout the journey, but this is actually the first time we can actually catch one of the Machops. Um, the only main uh, thing to note when catching a Machop 
is that Machop is a really good Pokemon, and so is its evolutions. However, in order to get Machamp, you must trade with another Pokemon, uh, with another po trainer. Um, in or uh, you, if you do have no possible way to trade your Machop, you can only ever have a Machoke. Machoke is not a, it, it's right, it's not a bad fighting type Pokemon, but obviously a Machamp is better. Um, if, honestly, if you ask me, if you wanted to use a fighting type, I would probably use Hariyama instead, Muk uh, well, Makuhita to Hariyama, but, uh, def you can still definitely work with just a Machoke if you can't, uh, trade at all, but definitely good to keep in mind, if you do actually have the ability to trade, which Amp does turn out to be a really good Pokemon, so, uh, also thing to, uh, if you want to, uh, end up getting into Chop. Okay, so I got good news and I got bad news. Good news is that uh, Roshi is now level 17 and has actually learned a new move. Uh, we got Fire Spin, I got rid of Smoke Screen, since Smoke Screen is basically just, um, it just lowers accuracy. Mudslap Mud does the same with an SO attack, so I'd rather have another attacking move on hand. Um, however, Jam did also go down, that's not even the bad news. I'd even end up finding uh, the other Poison Pokemon, which was a Grimer. I'm definitely going to look around later to show off what Grimer looks like, but uh, Grimer is a pretty good Pokemon. It basically, it just has more health and defense than a Weezing overall, um, but, you know, it doesn't have Levitate, uh, so definitely something to keep in mind. Um, did, is Roshi all healed up? Yes. So I'm actually going to try to go into some fights with Roshi and try to level him up like this. That's actually why I tried to avoid these trainers in the first place. Because we got quite a few trainers down over there. I don't want to exactly just leave them out uh, of the way just yet. And just before we can move on with the Fiery Path, we got let's try to bring up Roshi to our level. And we got uh, Halo right here. Uh, let's see if we can just kind of go for Ember. But this next guy, um, we're going to see if we can try to Fire Spin it though. Uh, fire Spin is kind of a little bit... Uh, uh, neat and does a little bit different uh, sort of things. And we got a long break coming out, uh, so let's go for Fire Spin instead. Fire Spin does have a good chance of missing, unfortunately. So I'm hoping that doesn't happen on us, but if yes, Fire Spin goes off. And as you can see, that didn't really do any much damage, but if you saw, if you see there, it was trapped in a vortex. At the end of the turn, Fire Spin always hurts uh, Poke uh, Pokemon every turn. Um, it's, I believe this happens two to five turns. At the end of turns, uh, they're gonna receive a little bit of additional damage. Uh, I'm not gonna keep Fire Spin on Roshi for a long time, mainly because Fire Spin doesn't do that much damage in turn for it to really be that good a, of a thing to- Oh yeah, I want to do this damage over time. It's gonna be good in certain situations, I think, but it's not always so handy. Let's go for Smog right here. Uh, what we got uh, happened to our Lombre, and let's see if we can actually get it to poison, and yes it did, that's very, very nice. Um, Lombre isn't going to be able to take all these uh, hurts over time, and probably should have tried to, uh, showing off what Curse does as well, and we'll actually have an opportunity. I think they'll just uh, be taken out the next turn by Fire Spin and Poison, so we're going to get hit by Absorb right here, but this is what Curse does. Now Curse has one of two effects. Basically, at first, it checks if you're a ghost type. If you are not a ghost type, it does this. Your speed will fall and your attack and your defense will raise. So basically, it's like bulk up, but it also lowers your speed. So it's basically like a weaker version of bulk up, but there's certain situations where actually losing speed helps, but not so much in this uh, generation, and it's very, very rare. More often, you want more speed than not. Uh, so... Um, basically, it doesn't really hurt on Roshi, because Roshi is mainly a slow Pokemon, hence being a tortoise. Uh, but, uh, on Pokemon like, maybe like a Snorlax, who's also really slow, that would also be a really good option. However, if you're using Curse and you're a Ghost-type, uh, you will not have any stat uh, drops uh, applied to you at all. But it's actually a really different move. Uh, it, it'll actually take half of uh, your entire health. So basically, um, my Roshi has uh, 53 health. It'll be put, probably brought down to about 26. Uh, uh, and uh, so you're hurting yourself. Uh, but after that, at the end of t uh, turn, kind of like uh, how Fire Spin does, um, 
a Pokemon's gonna get hurt for uh, one fourth of their HP. So basically, using Curse will make that Pokemon not be able to really stay out for four t uh, four turns. Even if you're able to like recover, uh, the curse effect doesn't just wear out after uh, four turns. You have to swap out a Pokemon in order to get rid of the curse effect. Um, but um, if you find that as a good uh, thing, and you do have a ghost Pokemon, you can still keep that. Uh, I'm not really going to be using curse on Roshi regardless. Uh, that is not a ghost type. Mainly because the main thing that it's raising right now is attack. Um, it now, de defense as well, so mainly I'm going to do that when I need a defense boost, but uh, the only move that's boosting right now would probably be Smog. I'm full of pep, and my Pokemon is peppy too! Okay, let's see what we got right here. Sand Shrew, ooh, very cool. Um, I don't know if it has any ground type moves, I'm a little worried about that. I'm going to go for Fire Spin just for damage over time. And a scratch. Um, normally that doesn't really matter too much, but it did get a critical hit right there, and so did I. Okay, I'll take that. And Fire Spin isn't doing too much damage over time, but you know, I'd rather something over not. Could have probably just went for Ember, because I guess it does, uh, Sand Shoes don't have that much special defense. But we did pretty good right there. Roshi is already really coming along. My Pokemon lost its path. <laughs> Alright, I mean, this, we just got this dude, and he's already almost like level 20. One more fight right here. I don't know where you're going, but would you like to battle? And we got, uh, uh, Picnicker Irene with a Sroomish. And a very bad Pokemon choice, because another thing that is just weak to my embers. And how many embers do I still have? Only eight. Well, that's more than enough for this fight. I did just get, uh, Leech Seeded, however. We are getting a water Pokemon coming up for Meryl. How about we switch it up? Um, would try to get Jam out. And... Um, Maybe I'd bring out Deku, but how about we have Batman out? Because uh, Batman could do a, with a little bit more now that he's a uh, uh, gold bat, and he does have wing attack, and this probably should should be more of a one-sided battle. Unless this guy could get ro a roll-off going, but yeah, it was extremely one-sided. We got that out all the way. That's all set. Uh, oh, you're disgustingly good. And, alright, uh... We won that all right, we can keep moving on, and the rocks are up again, so, but luckily we can just break rocks. Uh, um, sometimes when you break rocks, uh, I don't know if it's going to happen this time, um, I'll even break this one just in case, but you can actually have a Pokemon jump out at you when you're using Rock Smash. I don't know if it's going to happen to me at all during this playthrough, because it's rare, but um, basically you, can, you have a chance of a Geodude coming out being like, hey, why are you breaking my rock? Uh, uh, but it's kind of neat. Uh, it's not, they're not usually too strong, but it's kind of just a neat little thing that you can possibly find like a Geodude when you break a rock. Uh, um, I, only thing that would probably be a little bit of annoying in it would probably be like a Nuzlocke or something when you're like locked into using a certain Pokemon. But uh, since that doesn't really affect me, I don't really care. So. Um, we got our Pokemon all healed up, uh, and we can actually now do one more thing before we move on. Let's see, uh, what this whole cycle road is about. Uh, now we can, if we try going a pass here, without uh, going on the, uh, on our bike, uh, just get turned back. But now we have our bike, uh, if we, uh, oh, yep, it says something different. You can go all out to cycle as fast as you like. It feels great to go that fast, but try not to crash it anyway. If we get off, we can't, you cannot dismount your bike here. Okay, you cannot just get, you, if you just straight up, doesn't let you. Now, we can just go straight up. However, that's a distraction. The real thing is right here. Ha 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 ha. I'll dazzle you at my wonders. Yeah, there's just a dude hiding in the tr in the bushes. I don't know why. It's, oh no, god, it's not even a dude, it's a chick. There's a chick hiding in the bushes. I'm a little scared, but she's got an Avra. Uh, alright, uh. Let's uh, get rid of this cushion, and uh, we're getting hit with a uh, hidden power right here. And luckily, that was not super effective against us. Let's see if we can just uh, use Ember and get rid of you. Uh, and yes, indeed, Ember was no match for us. We can just keep going. I wondrously lost. Uh, and my main reason for eating this off was because I wanted Roshi to also uh, t uh, catch up to us. How do you like the way my Raven Color hair st uh, streams behind me? I grew up my hair out uh, for that. I didn't even know Raven is a color. I think that's a bird. The triathlon is an art in a stream. You have to uh, compete in three events. Uh, swimming, cycling, and running. And that's really neat, but you're just kind of biking. 
and he here we got a Magnemite. And normally, if we had Roshi this last battle, we would actually be doing really okay. Because uh, this Ember is probably going to one-shot this Magnemite, and yes, it did indeed. Um, nice to have really super effective moves. You know what? I like to, uh, like you, let's have a rematch on Cycle Road. And alright, thank you, tra uh, Abigail. Uh, another trainer right here. Let's go uh, battle you. Yo, you! Can you keep up with my speed? And alright, we got tri uh, tri another triathlete. We got Anthony right here. He's out of the way. And, and we actually are learning another move already. Jesus. Um, let's go for Body Slam. And Body Slam, I do want to keep. Um, now, Smog it was good for that Lombre. So maybe I might actually want to keep it. But you know what? I'm going to go for Body Slam. Because I'm probably going to be using that more. Body Slam is a super good move. If you can learn that on your Pokemon, definitely learn it. Um, its main thing is that, um, it's basically strength, uh, in other words, stronger tackle, but it also has the side benefit to also paralyze one of your opposing Pokemon. Like, the Pokemon that gets it by Body Slam can also be paralyzed. So that's super cool, uh, and that's the main reason I actually keep Body Slam in the round of the first place. Get, uh, having a good damaging move that will also paralyze is uh, really, really good. It's also why I should, uh, why Curse might actually do really good now. Don't panic if your bike is going fast. Uh, and good tips. Uh, I'm gonna not panic if my bike is going really fast. We got Benjamin right here and another Magnemite. Uh, this, kind of, this whole place is kind of one-sided. And, uh, well, we are getting hurt a little bit bad, I will admit, though. Um, I don't know what that other person that was below this guy was. Oh, we got another phone number right here. Thanks, Ben. Let's see, what do you got right here? Oh, I'm just gonna keep crashing into everybody. Hey! You got that bike from Randall's. Oh, I'm just like glaring that says on your bike. Oh my god, he's still going! It's everywhere. You, you should ride it all over the place. It's good advertising. Alright, uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, like, use all my breath right there, why don't you? Ziggy's got an, uh, another item right there. Let's see if we can actually grab that from him. Or her. Uh, let's see. Let's grab that. And we got Antidote. Uh, not too bad. Not too shabby at all. We did get poisoned a little while back, and I think we did use an Antidote. I'll be, uh, riding without stop. My fives are like rocks! And we got... She's got free Pokemon. We just, we just keep going for Embers, and uh, I don't know if they're all Magnemites this time around. Uh, I think they are. Just uh, nothing but Magnemites. Uh, does anybody here have a Voltorb? I know there's all, there are Voltorbs here. Yep, there we go. And here's a Voltorb. Level 6. Yeah, might, might as well just go for Body Slam right here. Of course, I can get paralyzed from, like, Static or something, but yeah. Obviously, a one shot at it. We we're like 10 levels over it at the very least. Like, level 6, that is crazy. We got another person with also Voltorbs. Uh, at least he's got variety, but I don't know why Voltorb is like, you know, so much more weaker than all the Magnemites. We got we found a Magnemite that was level 16. This dude's got a Magnemite and it's level 14. It's 8 levels higher than both of his Voltorbs. It's higher than both of his Voltorbs combined. It would have been made 12. What are, who are you? Learning techniques will uh, make bike riding even more fun. There are places that you can reach with all the music is bright technique. Uh, and I keep crashing. Number of collisions 11 times. Total minute, 1 minute plus. My word. Your cycling skills uh, border on terrifying. You're mo cer uh, you most certainly need bike <laughs> practice riding. Yeah, this guy sucks. Every time you, get, um, you come down from uh, model to slate port, He'll actually rate the number of times you uh, bump into a wall and see how long it takes for you to get down there. And I don't think ba uh, Pokemon battles count, uh, but you're obviously going to bump into a trainer if you get seen by them. So that's definitely the ma uh, main draw of it. And I don't know if in Cycle Road it makes you go all the way down like it does in uh, the Cycle Road in uh, Fire and Red. Uh, I, I just called it Fire and Red. Uh, fire Red and Leaf Green, or Fire and... Uh, I just call it... <laughs> I keep messing it up! Uh, red and Blue. But, yes, uh, in that cycle road, you'd always go uh, down, but I don't think it does that in this one, luckily. And, 
There is one other thing for uh, for us to do, but honestly, this uh, whole episode I think has dragged on long enough. Uh, there, it, uh, so I'll leave it with this. Uh, we are being watched from a tree, so let's see what's in this tree. Ha! Uh, ah, grr! How did you know I concealed myself behind this tree? You're sharp. Uh, uh, you've come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, yes? Uh, consider your challenge accepted. Go for the scroll right here and I'll be waiting in the back! Uh, here he goes! And yes, he says everything the same as he always does. And if we go in, as you can see, this whole place is a little bit different. Uh, so how about we check this place out in the next episode? I want to thank you uh, very much for watching this episode, though. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.